state lawmakers are starting budget talks this week, but already emerging in the debate whether the state should spend more money or give taxpayers more tax breaks. 16 WAPT Scott Simmons is on the money trail at the state capitol. Outside the joint legislative budget committee meetings, Eula Patterson and others are pushing for more education spending since the state is expected to have more money next year. I think that if you tell me that you have enough money, then you certainly need to put it in places where you say you haven't put it because you didn't have the money as opposed to giving me a tax break. State agency heads are outlining for lawmakers what money they need and how they want to use it. But the lieutenant governor has other plans. I think it's time for a pay raise for the taxpayers. Tate Reeves so, says if state work. revenues are up next year, he wants to give residents a tax cut. Well, there's a lot of different possibilities, everything from uh, individual income taxes, corporate income taxes. We're looking also at the franchise tax. You just have to wait and see what the revenues are like. You know, there's no way to project what it's going to be like in March. A lukewarm response from his House counterpart and from Democrats who say Mississippi needs more education funding. Uh, that is a very popular position to take during an election year. But I think we have so many unmet needs in the state we're going to have to address. More than 20 school districts have joined a statewide lawsuit trying to force lawmakers to fully back an education funding formula that they claim has been underfunded. Reeves says the state has increased state education funding $250 million over the past three years. And if projections are up for next year, some of that money should be returned to residents. Revenue projections are one thing. In the end, it is revenue reality that lawmakers deal with in deciding what money they have to spend. It's a picture that usually becomes clearer about March when the state has a firmer understanding of how much money it is collecting. At the Wolfolk Building, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. The committee meetings will continue through the week. Lawmakers will come back in November to draft a budget that they will vote on in January when they reconvene.